Have you ever wondered why the numbers on a dartboard are arranged in this order? And who chose this particular pattern? Well, oddly enough, no one really seems to know who chose it. Some say it was the work of a carpenter called Brian Gamlin, and others say it was a chap called Thomas William Buckle. Either way, it's been around for over a hundred years, and it's commonly called the London Arrangement. But there are, in fact, several other dartboard designs too. Anyway, while looking at a dartboard, the three numbers across the top gave me an idea for a puzzle. What struck me is that 5 plus 20 is a perfect square, 25, 5 times 5. And then on the other side of the board, 1 and 20 add to 21, which is a perfect triangle. Now, for some reason or another, I like triangular numbers, and I was a bit disappointed to find these two are the only ones on the board. But it led me to wonder whether I could arrange the numbers in another way to create more triangular pairs. Well, alternating the high and low numbers is a good start. It gives 10 triangles, but you can do better. How much better is my question for you. What is the most number of triangles you can create from the sum adjacent pairs? And as a bonus, what's the most you can make from the sum of three adjacent numbers? To save you looking them up, this is a list of the first 12 triangular numbers and as always I'll give you a moment to think about it then I'll give you the answer. So if you tried to solve this puzzle by trial and error it probably took you quite a while. Not surprising really there's over 60 quadrillion different ways to arrange the numbers in a dartboard. A better method is to create a graph, a sort of Network of pairs that adds up to a triangle. Let me show you how to create one. Start with the number 20, say, and as we've seen, you can pair it with 1 to make the triangle 21. And then 1 can be paired with 5 to make the triangle 6. 5 can also be paired with 16, and 16 can be paired with 20 to make the triangle the number 36. And carrying on like this, you'll build a graph of all the possible triangular pairs. OK, the shape of your graph may well be different to this, but the way the numbers are connected to each other should be the same. Now, to find a solution to the puzzle, all you have to do is pick a starting number, again, let's say 20, and then follow a path of the graph until you've visited every number once and once only. Once you've done that, wrap the numbers around the board and you've found a solution. This one contains 19 triangular numbers because, sadly, 11 plus 20 isn't a triangular number. And that's because the path I chose is open-ended. But you can go one better. A close to it, such as this one, gives you the maximum of 20 triangular pairs. And there's two other closed to which I'll leave you to find for yourself. Solving the bonus question about three adjacent numbers isn't quite so easy using a graph. So I just wrote a program to search by trial and error. And this is the one and only sequence I found that contains the maximum 18 triangles. And the corresponding dartboard looks like this. I was a bit disappointed there aren't 20 triangles, but if you stretch the rules of the puzzle to include the ball and outer ball, then you can create two more. And there's lots of other questions that come to mind, such as how many triangles can you create from groups of four, five or more numbers? What about the square numbers instead of triangular numbers? If you can tell the answer to those questions, then let me know in the comments below. Till next time, cheerio.